with glaucoma being the second leading cause of blindness in the world, according to the World Health Organization. Measures are being taken to reduce this growing epidemic which is affecting the world's population. World Glaucoma Week is one of the many ways to educate the public and raise their awareness about the leading cause of irreversible blindness in most countries, including our very own Dominica. Glaucoma Week is observed annually from March 12th to the 18th under the theme Beat Invisible Glaucoma. Consultant ophthalmologist Dr. Hazel Schillingford Ricketts stated that glaucoma is a disease which affects the optic nerve of the eye which is responsible for transmitting the visual information from the eye to the brain. When I look into the eye, I see the head of the nerve and we call this the optic disc. Now here, this is a normal retina. This is the normal optic disc. These are the blood vessels. And this is a retina which receives the information the equivalent to the film in a camera. Now, as the fibers are damaged from the glaucoma, there is a cup in the center. And as it progresses, you see the cup getting bigger. Now, this means you are losing most of your fibers. Now, what this causes is loss of your side vision and the dark area above here is where this patient cannot see it's called a scotoma and as the disease progresses you see this dark area goes right around and takes away all the vision and this is when the person realize something is wrong and they start you know coming to check their eyes and so but by that time it's too late because once you start getting those scotomas or those dark areas it is there for life for the rickets informed that glaucoma is also a degenerative condition which can result in complete blindness she also underscored the importance of early detection as being the major preventative method of the disease The important thing about glaucoma is that the blindness that you that is experienced from glaucoma is irreversible. So unlike cataract, which can get you blind, but if you do surgery to remove the cataract, vision can be restored. With glaucoma, once you're blind, that's it. So it is important that it is detected before blindness occurs. The other important thing about glaucoma is that it is a, a group of diseases. It's not just one disease. There are several types of glaucoma. So you may have congenital if a baby is born with glaucoma. You may have primary open angle glaucoma. You may have narrow angle glaucoma. You may have secondary glaucoma. So there are a number of different types of glaucoma. However, the most common one that we are concerned about in our public education is a primary open angle glaucoma because this is the one that is more common. It does not cause any signs in its early stages. So about half of the patient with this disease do not even know they have glaucoma. Most times persons are detected when they come for a routine eye examination. And is six times more at risk of contracting glaucoma when compared to other races. Shilling van Ricketts also noted that glaucoma is hereditary and encourage individuals with that disease to inform their relatives once it is detected. Also a disease that runs in families. So this is why when a patient is diagnosed with glaucoma, they are also asked to inform their relatives. You know, some persons are very private about their illness, but this is one disease I try to have patients know that they must inform their relatives so they can come and check their eyes so that if they detect the glaucoma early, then the chances of the preserving their vision is much better. There are other risk factors like patients who may be diabetic, patients who may be hypertensive, patients who may be very nearsighted or myopic, persons who have had, um, who suffer of migraine and so, and the secondary ones, um, persons who may be on steroid medication either for asthma or for arthritis or so, long-term use of steroid predispose one to develop glaucoma. So if patients are on steroids for a long time, 
it is important that they check their eyes regularly. Patients who may have had trauma, especially um, in my experience, um, young men who play play cricket or they fight and they hit each other on the eye, and um, they have to check their eyes, reg the injured eye regularly because. The average person whose family does not have a history of glaucoma in that family is advised to visit an eye care specialist at the age of 40 and every two years once there is no trace of the disease. The Ministry of Health has partnered with the Rotary Club to host a health care where free screening will be provided to the general public in observance of World Glaucoma Week. And the challenge of marketing Dominica.